We're staring at my ram. <laughs> my lips slowly starting to feel better. It's still swole. Anyways, I'm here at Lowe's. I went in and explained everything to the manager about the deliveries and the bull crap and whatnot ever. So they gave me all the parts that I put in my cart, which is the fiberglass, the sheet, um, the tub spout, because the uh, faucet that came, the spout was busted. It's weird. Anyways, so they comped me for everything, gave it to me for free. I mean, it's like almost $100 for the parts that I just bought, but I mean, it doesn't compensate for the freaking labor, but it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? So, versus trying to return it, and then I'm out another four or five days to get something delivered, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So, let's go to work, man. Let's get something done today. We're going to go get this. I'm going to try my best to get all this plumbing done today. You notice I did say try. Come on, man. Get yourself a shirt. They're in the store. And I can get extra large. So, if you want an extra large, I'll put it in the store later on today. Cool? See you, man. So I got a couple of new products I want to check out this week. Um, this is a headlight. This actually pops off of the case, you know. So you got a, you have a headband, but you can also pop it off so it comes off. And it's rechargeable, so I'm definitely going to give this a shot this week and uh, check it out and see how I like it. I'll let you know how that works out. I bought a set of the Milwaukee tube cutters. The, you just pop them on there, man, and rotate it, and it automatically adjusts. So, um, I've never had one of these this style of pipe cutter. I've always had ones where you tighten it up yourself. But I'm going to give those a shot on this project, of course. And then, final, I picked up the Milwaukee Flex Light. Or, uh, I'm sorry, the Milwaukee Lithium. I'm going to give it, it's a rechargeable light. It's just like my. Um, Harbor Freight Light, except this is a hundred dollars versus thirty bucks in Milwaukee or uh, Harbor Freight. I'm gonna pop it out of the case and uh, we'll give a rundown, rundown real quick. See how it works. I'm digging that USB-C because that's the same as my phone. <laughs> so I got me a Milwaukee phone cord now. Anyways, that is nice that it did come with a cord. So it's uh. It's not bad, man. Batteries. The yellow indicates that the battery needs to be charged. I like that, man. That's cool. So you can turn it both sides, one side with spotlight. That spotlight's bright, man. Check it out. That's bright. So it's got the the mode button. Is you know front, back, forward, whatever, and then you can dim it down. That's why I really like. So if you got it on high, now you can dim it and make it brighter. That's pretty cool. And if you turn it off, when you turn it back on, it goes right back to the last lighting it was on. So that's kind of cool. Let's check it out underneath the sink. It There is a wall mount you can buy that you can just click it into the wall mount and it magnetizes it and charges it. It comes with the bottom hook on there if you want to hang it off something. Let's go see how this works underneath the sink. Because you know this is where I use my light. Huh? Yep, clicks right on there. And I like it how it's got a fatter base to it too because I can sit it right here behind the, behind the center part and uh, it lights up the whole sink area. So that's pretty nice, man. Let's see if I can make it brighter. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, see, I can light that up. That's pretty nice. I mean, it, it lights it up pretty good. And it does stick. Well, that sucked. But yeah, it sticks to the sink, so that's cool. Because normally you can't get a light a magnet to stick to the sink. And I usually try to find the sink mount. Is good. Yeah. Cheap metal. It does stick up there, though. That's pretty cool. I guess it's alright. You can also uh, 
flip out the hook. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking close. <laughs> but if I had a garbage disposal under here, I could hook it on a garbage disposal. You know, because they got that little rim. So, but not bad, man. If I can remember which one's which on the buttons. Yeah, that's not bad. But like I said, most most time I'll probably be, um, I can set it right here, you know, and it lights it up, it's out of my way, you know, because it's got the fatter base on it. So that's not bad at all, man. Well, like my uh, milk, my um, harbor, my icon, is it icon? Yeah, my icon light. Um, this is water resistant too. Uh, you know, I, I just thought I'd get one of these to see because you guys, some of you guys are Milwaukee freaks. Some of you are DeWalt freaks, but check it out. Bite on that switch. Now you're probably saying, oh, well, why would you do that? Dude, you know how many times I ain't got nowhere to lay a light, but I always got a light switch. Anytime you got a door that's closed, you need to hang a light, see? Hangs right up there, man. Ain't that cool? I'll find some weird places to hang a light, bro. <laughs> you know? But, uh, yeah. You'd be amazed. Uh, I've, I've hung a light off of doorknobs or uh, door hangers all the time. Anyways, let's we'll see what else we can find to stick this thing to. That's... That works really good. It, it's a pretty strong magnet, man. You know? I mean, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good, bro. Let's see what else. Uh, let's see if we can find an outside corner. Oh, no, you didn't, bro. Check that out. It's stuck right to it. No problem. Pow! Fully extended. Let's get my, uh, let's get that icon out and see how it does. So I've had this icon for a while. I really love this thing, man. It's freaking, it's small, very small. Um, my side pocket on my pants, I will slide that right down in there. No problem. Sometimes I've, I've hung it from my shirt. Anyways, let's see if it'll hang off of that. Nope. Nope, not extended. You can't do this extended. If you shut it, it'll stay there. But this is fully extended out. And it stays. That's pretty cool. See if I can rotate it. Well, because you got to be fair about this, man. You can't be trying to make it look good. So it will hang, but I can't turn it. I can't turn it because of the placement of the magnets. You think it'd stay right there, but it don't. So, yeah. I mean, come on. That's that's one thing. You know what I mean? But. The icon, it'll stick right on a freaking light switch. So will that. So it's um, this has got one button, one button, and you change everything. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it lasts a really long time. Uh, this one here, it's a. Uh, this is a white light. And this is like a uh, amber light. And you can see the difference in the two. Okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty freaking bright, man. It's a lot brighter than this. Yeah. It's definitely brighter. And it's, like I said, it's more of a natural light versus this is white light, you know. But I've also, this is also dirty and... I beat the crap out of this thing, so well, I kind of dig it. It's about twice the size, thickness-wise. You know, this is small. This is a lot thicker. This is a rechargeable battery that can be replaced. The icon, you cannot replace the, the battery in it. It's uh, charged and when it's done, you throw it away. But it's twenty-nine dollars. Feel me? This is a hundred dollars but you can replace the battery. When you fold it up, yeah, it's it's significantly bigger. We'll give it, uh, we'll definitely give it a, a rundown 
um, see how if I like it. You turn this to turn the base, and there's where the battery is. So the only thing I don't like about that is it's a Milwaukee battery. You know what I'm saying? So you 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 can't even just go buy a cheap battery. But anyways, and it's got the USB charger on the side. That's pretty cool. I like it. You know, it's all right. I really love my my icon. So. We'll, uh, we'll give her a shot this week, man, and uh, see how it works. <laughs> I think that light, right? And it does, this does go all the way over, almost. So. That's pretty cool. I'll, uh, we'll see if, we'll see how long this lasts. But, I've worn the rubber right off of that. He used to have a piece of rubber on it. I used it so much to run run the rubber off of it. <laughs> Anyways. So that light there is like three times bigger than that light. You know. So yeah, I mean you, that's what you're paying for, man. You're paying for uh the name and that it is a significant brighter light. So we'll give it a shot, man. And uh see see how long it lasts. And I like my headlight. That's pretty cool. Pretty bright, ain't it? That's from that little bitty headlight. <laughs> that is freaking bright, man. Then you dim it down if you want to. Save the battery, of course. And then you go spotlight. Dim down spotlight. Dim down again. And then back to floodlight. Plus, it, has, it tilts. So, and it comes off. So if you want to, you can just set it down somewhere. So I think I used to have a headlight light like this. I like that. So if you're like, you, maybe you need to put the light somewhere else, you know? And it's magnet. Magnet sticks right to it. Pretty strong. Man. So these aren't too bad. I forget what the price was on this. I think they're like 60 bucks or something like that. But it comes with the headband, of course. Um, it does come with the, the like hard hat rack. You know, it comes with the little clips for a hard hat if you need to, but I don't need it to do that. And then when you click it in there, you can adjust it. So if you're working, down, you're working on something that you don't need it up here, you want to point down, you can tilt it. Yeah. It's all right. I thought I'd give this a shot. But man, that's pretty freaking bright, dude. You know, that, that light. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, the door's open, so you got light in here. But that's pretty bright, dude. That you can see it in the daylight. So, not bad. Like I said, I, I got this. Um, the reason why I picked this one up is because when I'm doing outlets, I haven't. Oh, where's my other one? I ordered another one too. I just realized it didn't. It didn't come in with the rest. Huh? I've checked that. Um, I bought another light, but just because I wanted to see how it worked out. Um, and it is. It goes around your neck, and it's got two lights. And uh, I'm gonna check that out. That's strange. I just opened the box. I didn't see it in there. But anyways, so uh, you know me. I'm I'm good about lights. This would be cool, you know, if I'm doing outlets, um, because you know, my apartment's not the brightest thing in the world. So when I'm doing outlets, I kill all the power and I need that light right there. Now I tried to use my, I've tried to use this hanging off the bucket, but it always shines in my face and then my hand shadow what I'm doing. So anyways, we'll give it a shot, man, and see how this works out. I think it'd be fine. I have one of the ones you can get on Amazon for 20 bucks. It's a band and it's rechargeable. That's pretty cool. But the light doesn't last a whole a very long time. And it gets my head hot. So um, that's the reason why I thought I'm gonna give us a shot and see how this works out. But anyways, we gotta get to work and get some stuff done. So on the tub, let's go check. So on the tub, today I need to set the tub. Um, I got my uh, tough built laser out because it has a clamp 
it just clamps on there so if i turn it on it shines down here i need this i need to be able to basically mark where the drain is i set the tub down and then i'll set this dead on the, where the drain hole is and then pick the tub back up and that shows me where i need to open up or if i do need to open up you know what i mean so we'll go from there and uh get started on this first i'm going to set the tub down and get this set where i want it to and then we will take this into the living room and we'll do the fiberglass patch on that cool because i gotta let that sit for at least an hour let's do it man so i'm gonna set this tub back down and we'll get that marked real quick just gotta be careful with it don't break the corner So it's perfect fit now that I got this one by on here. I'm out about a uh, half inch or so in that corner. So of course that stud there is not even true in the corner. But this way it gets me, I know where I'm at. So we'll turn the laser on. I'm telling, wow, that's right on the freaking money. I got that dead center with that drain. So we'll move this so the X marks a spot. Okay, so I've got that set dead center with the, the overflow and the drain. And then this is my uh, parallel, so I'm, I'm cross-haired. I'm cross-haired in the hole, bro. <laughs> Watch your mouth. Don't be nasty. <laughs> All right, so let's get the stuff out of here. You can see what I've got to work with here. Big chunk of concrete. That's dead center. So if I bust this out, I'll be fine. Because this is the drain on the P trap or on the tub. So you gotta see I go back. And then it's gonna have to make a it's gonna have to make a sharp turn. Yeah. So we'll probably end up whacking this off and go PVC and we'll just build us a uh, PVC drain for this. Because if I make a trap, I can make, you know, the quick turn and all that. So it won't be, you can't look at this, this is where it comes out of the tub. So I make, the tub drain is actually going to be about here, uh, probably about right here. So cutting this off and putting a P-trap will be fine. I know it looks all complicated, but it's not. Cool, let's go check this stuff out. So I picked up some resin, some hardener, spreader, fiberglass sheet. So what we're gonna have to do is put this back on here. It's actually not that complicated because this is the back corner of it. So we will slide it into the hole get this out of the way slide it back into the hole somehow <laughs> so, yeah just down yeah just like that yep yeah, that's how it goes in there so you see on the other side See this right here? That's what stops water. So as long as I can I can put some harder on this and I can bond this stuff back together a little bit, get it back into place where it's supposed to be. And 
then I can put fiberglass. I can put this on there. Um, the resin is the hardener. It, it's this basically is what you soak the fiberglass in. This stuff, this mesh, and then apply it on there, and it bonds right to it. So it should be because I can I can coat all of this with the fiberglass because it doesn't matter because all this is hidden anyway so even if I get a little bit on that rim I'm still gonna be fine but my mo my main part is just cover this up and fiberglass this I'll probably take my little disc sander and just sand it lightly get any kind of uh, gloss finish off of it that way I got bare material to work with but it's not too hard this is like a you'll see it does come with hardener in the in the lid. Um, it's the only thing I don't have is a pan. So, and I don't have a small brush. Dag on it. So, anyway, we'll get to mixing something up. I might just get some gloves on and just <laughs> go down with it. Cool. Do it like this, and then wrap it around. That'll work just fine. Use a little strand, just pull them off. Okay. So we're gonna put a little bit of bonding on there. You know, try to put this back together. Okay. I'm gonna we'll put a little bit of that in the groove, and then we'll uh, we'll wrap it around both sides, and then set it down in there. It, basically, I'm just trying to reinforce this. Cool.
So it ain't the prettiest thing right now. This is just, let's get the fiberglass on there first and uh, then we can clean this up a little bit. Cool? Almost made that look like I knew what I was doing, eh? <laughs> first time for everything, bro. So I had to redo this because the hardener didn't set up it, after like a half an hour it was still I could still move the stuff around so I dumped that whole almost that whole bottle down inside there mix it up some more put it on there it's slightly tacky you know not like sticking to my fingers but it's slight, slightly tacky so it's it's setting up pretty good I'm just gonna let it go for a little while and uh and then we could just uh, knock them high feathers off, you know. I can take the little sander to it. I can get my fingers to work. So, I can knock those high, but I don't have to. That's the cool part about it is because all that's hidden. You know what I mean? So, all of this is hidden. You don't see none of that. So, we'll work with that. Because I know that this is not going to work, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off right here, the pipe, and uh, then, you know, I'll know where to go from there. Cool? <clears throat> copper, inch and a half copper, inch and a half PVC, PVC will fit inside of it. So it gives you a nice tight fit. So <laughs> now I can see where the tub is going to be. See how that works out. It's uh, I should be able to push it way in there. Let me get this out of there. Come on, man. Dig this out. Oh, that's an old piece of cover. That's cap. How about that? Anyways, hmm. We'll dig this out. Shove it back in there. So that I got wiggle room. This way. What I'm thinking is I can screw it way in there. And be able to turn this and catch it. See, ain't that cool? So, this will work because my tub drain is going to be right here on the green line. It just depends on how far back it is, and that should work perfectly right there. Cool beans, man. At least something worked out today. <laughs> For all you guys think you don't need a laser level, 
laser level come in handy in all kinds of circumstances. So this just eliminated all the guesswork. You know what I mean? So I should be able to get my arm in here to do any tightening. So I'm gonna go on this side of this wall and just pretend that the tub's here. So yeah, so yeah, I should be able to, I should have plenty of room without the water line in my way to get down in there to tighten it up or adjust or whatnot ever, so. Cool beans? Let's go. We just gotta go hard. Uh, I go the hardest. I bring the pain. Not what she used to. It's all part of the game. Yeah, I just gotta go hard. Uh, I just gotta go hard. Go hard. Go hard. Yeah. Oh yeah, the beast back, adrenaline pumping through my veins, can't relax, original, I am not the same as these cats, I sting them if they never ever mind and they beeswax, I don't ever cap, but I'm wearing like three hats, never been a rat, but I know where the cheese at, you'll never get a trophy cause they all here where we at, you better believe that, when it's all said and done, I still be here standing, never took a loss and it ain't something that I'm planning, I dare you to say something, my focus is A1, every dog has his day, it's been mine, since day one, this is real grinding. I'm still climbing. While you still trying, I'm still shining. It's real blinding. And I'm getting hotter too. Talking top two, I'm not a two. You let the pressure bother you when I do what I gotta do. Let's go home. Coming close to me, flow is on atomic. I'm starting fires through poetry. The heart is out, staying loyal, no falling out. And if you step into the court, be ready, we balling out. Yeah, the coldest of teens, they know the green don't taste. Yeah, the... Ain't that pretty? Almost right in the hole, bro. Almost. Nip it up a little bit. And uh, line her up. That isn't too bad. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't take it apart. See, I can still reach in there. That's the cool part about it. Right on the freaking money, bro. You know what I mean? Right on the money. I mean, that's that's only like from the bottom of the T to the top of the actual pipe going into the other pipe. There's only a sixteenth of an inch height difference. So. Cut some of this pipe off. See what I mean? I'm gonna have to cut. Looks like I'm gonna have to cut at least an inch off of it. Look at that. Sweet Alabama, bro. Sweet Alabama. disconnect the P trap in order to make the connection. <laughs> it's funny, ain't it? You tear it all apart. See that's why I was why I was worried about it was because it's such a tight space being able to get my arm down in there. 
because if I disconnect the P-trap, then I got to hook it back up. There's just not a, a lot of flex room. The only other thing I can do is disconnect this from the strainer. Unscrew the strainer, and uh, then I'll be able to make my connections. Cool. I think that's what I'll do. It'd be smarter to do it that way. Feel me? Because if I mark that, well, that'd be all right. Yep. Yep, yep. Troll times, bro. Okay, so now I got to lift the tub back up in order to put a boot on the pipe going in the copper pipe, which I do not have with me. So, good times, man. Good times. Working in that confined spaces, man. So at least I know where I'm at. It's just a lot of maneuvering around. So I got my laser set on the tub. Overflow. Drain coming straight up. Of course, can't see it because it's behind the 2x4. But, um, and then I have that set for the height that I feel it should be. I always look at it this way. <coughs> I always look at it this way about cross eyes you know because if I'm taking a shower I want to reach down and turn the water on you know what I mean it used to be they would set them low so that lazy women could lay in the bathtub and turn the water on with her foot <laughs> anyway I think that's a pretty good height right there we'll just bring us a 2 by 4 in here That's not too bad. I drilled the hole out for the water line to come out. I'm off by, it doesn't really matter, dude. I'm just, I'm within a margin. So this is mounted. So the nails all I need is a piece of copper to go out and a piece of copper to go this way. Like I said, I have PEX A screw on parts, but I don't like them because the last time I used one, it popped apart on me. So I'm just going to go out and drop. And then I can put a uh, adapter. Looks like this. And it goes inside. But I can't use these because this is PEX B. PEX A and B, you can't use the brass fittings. You can't, they're not interchangeable. But that's exactly what I need for the other side. Mm, no. This side I can do this. That side I gotta come out and I need a, this is a male, I need a female. It's just a little fatter and it'll go around the copper and then I can sweat it and be good to go. Cool? So yeah, so our, my water line, this is the main cold water. It'll go straight up and connect to the water heater, which I need a shark bite for that because the fitting I have is wrong. So. So I need a three-quarter shark bite. And what else? Uh, that's a T. T down there. T for the cold coming up. Go in. We come over here with a piece of copper. A little piece, shorter piece of copper. And then reduce down and make the connection. Cool veins. So one of the other tools that I received today was I bought a set of these. Three quarter half inch, one inch. I'll show you how quick this thing is, man. It's shocking to me. Get it on there. Once you get it on there, which way does it go? It goes this way. Couple turns, man. Look at that. It does uh, 
you know, you're going to have to clean that up in there a little bit. But I can't believe how quick that thing is. My old, uh, uh, my old cutters, man, they, uh, it takes a minute to cut a piece of pipe, but I just thought it was neat. I'll show you that. It comes in a nice little case. They're about 60 bucks for one of these. Not too bad, but that's because I got tired of always having to turn it, tighten, turn it, tighten. You know what I mean? Because you get them tight spots, you can't get that big machine in there, but that's a pretty cool setup, man. Anyway, just thought carrying and sharing. All right, let's get back to work. I don't know, I have enough battery on this. That's the only battery I got with me to, to video record this. Um, it's just putting a couple of T's on here, drop a line, that's it. We'll uh, definitely be doing that drain tomorrow and getting everything else set. Cool? Appreciate you. Get yourself a shirt, my man. You know, that's kind of funny. <laughs> I wasn't paying a bit of attention. I was just cutting pipe, connecting. <laughs> this is cold. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, end of the day. See ya. You wanna